Hey Stampers, it is Monday, May 27th. I have lots to talk to you about, so I'm going to go real quick. You can watch this twice if you can't keep up. Four more sleeps to the new catalog. So we're going to talk all about the new catalog today. Uh, very first thing I'm going to remind you, very last time I'm going to remind you, if you haven't ordered your stamps and you still want them that are going away on Friday, now is the time. I can't help you later. I can, but only to a point. So uh, there's that to consider. And on Friday, I'm going to send you another new email pertaining to the new catalog. I'm going to detail out some things in that. And the thing, one thing I'm really excited about is I'm going to have a video for you on Friday that shows you the new ink pads and the difference. And I am really super excited about the new ink pads. Does this mean you have to throw out all your old ink pads and start over? No. But when you're buying new colors, like the new ink colors or something else, you're going to have a bit of a different experience. And I think it's important to realize that. So, a uh, quick reminder, Saturday, June 2nd, is the, what am I calling it? New catalog kickoff and buy one, get one sale. Um, wow, I'm almost full. I have like three spots left. Seriously. I actually haven't counted in the last few days. So, let's say I have three spots left. I might not even have three spots left. But if you get to me today, I will squeeze you in. So, this is your last call for that. Last call for retiring steps. Now, let's focus on what's, what's new and exciting. Um, let's talk a little bit about the new catalog. Some of you have had questions. The catalog is a little bit smaller and um, there's definitely a focus more on the stamps, ink, paper. You've seen a lot of, there's not as many accessories. There are a lot of ink shot dies, which I'm very excited about. Now, where are the accessories? There's not as much ribbon. There's not as many buttons. Um, what has happened is they're scaling back that book to make it more manageable. And then, you know our little holiday minis and occasions minis that were like, yay? They're not going to be that full eight and a half by 11 size. So that means we're going to have way, way more stuff in those books. And that's going to let Stampin' Up! stay way more trendy, way more on top of things. I think they already are pretty much on top of things, but this just takes it to a whole new level. So when that holiday mini comes out August 1st for you customers, that's right, a whole month earlier. Isn't that exciting? That means us Canadians can actually stamp some Thanksgiving projects for table favors and things. Instead of being like, oh, it's two days for Thanksgiving. I haven't done that. Guess I'm not doing it. Um, and that way we can do those things. And then the other thing that will be really cool is we have that holiday mini right, right through December and then we get another occasions mini with more fresh new stuff. So there always will be those new things. And I love new stamps, um, especially right now when my stamp room is looking. I'm looking at my shelf. Sad. I haven't had a lot to work with the last few weeks. My retiring sets are all stacked up around me. If only you could see the floor. Anyhow, um, so that's what's going on with the catalog for those of you that are wondering. And, you know, lots of good things are coming. Change is good. Embrace it. It's always good. Um, speaking of change, so one thing I'm going to announce on Friday are my new product shares. So I'm going to do two ribbon shares as well as a paper share. So I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek of some of the ribbon. See that yellow? This is the new Grow Grain ribbon. It's got a stitch in it. Comes in most of the basic colors. Nice. I love that stitch. And you know what? If you want to, you could dye that. Won't that make a fun effect? And uh, for anyone that is wondering, this is the new Midnight Muse color. And this is the new Primrose Petals. So I love fresh new colors. And as some of you have heard me say, I never like anything when I see it in print. But once I started stamping with the colors, I really like them now. And then the other ribbon is this new satin ribbon. It's a stitched satin ribbon. See those stitches? Beautiful. It's so luxurious. I love it. And uh, that's going to be my second ribbon share. So there'll be one for the girl grain, one for the satin ribbon, and then one for the paper. And if you guys want an accessory share... There's uh, Vintage Fasted Bussins, um, the Dahlias, and a couple other things. If you guys want one, just email me and say, hey, Maggie, I want one. If there's, you know, three or four of you that want it, I can totally do it. I just don't want to offer too many things and to have people, like, go, I can't pick. I'm going to melt down because that's what I do. I just go, too many choices. I'm not choosing anything. I'm shutting down this computer screen. <laughs> that's why I shop at places that have, like, four things because that's about all I can handle. And for those of you that know me, I'm, like, a crazy online shopper, so that's a little bit of insight into my demented world so this is also two two of the colors you've got in the background this is the quick what is it raspberry ripple and the primrose petals and then that ribbons the gumball green so really fresh 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 fun colors for summer and you know over the winter I get really depressed because I use red and green all the time and brown so I'm always excited for summer and a few weeks more weeks I'll be excited about Christmas colors so it's a cyclical thing. So the share details will be out on Friday. And then the very last thing I'm going to share with you today is just a little teaser. I have picked the date for my grand opening for my stamp and scrap uh, playground, which is what I'm going to call it. I 
I used to refer to my basement as the playground quite often. People are like, no, there's nothing fun down there. I'm like, no, stamps, go on. Anyways, <laughs> I'm really overtired. It's been a long weekend. I had a birthday party for eight-year-olds yesterday. They're crazy. Hour and a half long water fight. They're all waterlogged, but they had a lovely time. Anyways, I digress. But uh, back to my Stamps and Scrap playground, where I will not have to deal with eight-year-olds, hopefully. It's my own little paradise. And if you'd like to escape your family, it'll be your own little case. It's going to be nice and homey and cozy. And on the 7th, I'm going to have a whole afternoon. It's going to be free because I want everyone to just come check it out. You have all my stuff for my fall classes there. Uh, just get everyone really excited about what's coming up and check out my new space. There will be some stamping. Of course, that will be all complimentary. There'll be some treats. Um, and you can just come and enjoy it. And for my customers who are frequent customers, my club members, you guys can all come an hour early because I want you to kind of get the first mover advantage and sneak peek. So that is all I have to share today. So take out a big Sharpie and circle the seventh on your calendar just like it was a wedding. This is equally as important. Stamping is important, right? <laughs> this is the video where Maggie is unhinged. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everyone has a really great week and um, enjoy the last few days of May and hopefully it does not rain like buckets like it's predicting here. Take care. Bye.